Welcome to the BNB Game of the Week. Today's contest in boys varsity soccer features the Vettman Pirates and the Herrick Highlanders. I'm Rocco Law, joined here by Tom Morrow. Not only is it senior day here for Metman Boys Soccer, this match is pivotal because of the winner of today's contest between the two heavyweights will claim the Nassau A1 Conference title. Last week, Herrick suffered a 2-0 loss to MacArthur, which knocked him out of MSG's varsity's top 10 in Nassau County. This led to Metman Pirates' spark, in which they were able to come into contention after their 4-0 win over New Hyde Park, where senior Andrew Weiner notched a hat-trick in the win. Now let's take a look at the Memphis Pirates. The Memphis Pirates' overall record is down 1-1. One one. Their conference in A1 is 6-1-1. One one. Their head coach is Zach Ghost. Last game, Andrew Weiner scored three goals to lead Memphis in non-league play in a 4-0 win over New Hyde Park. With the win, the Pirates mathematically clinched the Nassau A1 conference title. A Pirates loss will allow Harris to become the winner of the Nassau A1. Memphis is on a six-game winning streak and looks to continue their play of late, especially since the winner of this contest will become the leader in Nassau A1. Mapham is currently ranked ninth in the county. Herrick was in the top 10, but their loss last week dropped them out of top 10. By every measure, the coaching staff and players know they have, to, they have done a great job this season leading up to this pivotal game. The win would mean a lot to the team, but winning the conference makes it that much more special. It would be a huge momentum charge as the Pirates prepare for the upcoming playoffs. Now let's get into the visiting Herrick Highlanders. Record overall is 7-1-1. One one. Conference A is 6-1-1. One one. Uh, last game, Dimitri Niktas scored four goals and Jose Silva added two goals and an assist to lead Herricks to a 7-0 win over Great Neck South in Nass Nassau A1. As we discussed before, a win for Highlanders will allow Herricks to clinch the Nassau A1 Conference title over Mepham. However, we, with the loss, Herricks will move into... Both teams look to lay it all on the line today for the Nassau A1 Conference title. As we're just about to get underway here at Mapham High School, the Conference A1 6101 Pirates, as well as the 6101 Herricks, look to begin here. Pirates have it on their half of the midfield, take it on the left field side of the pitch. Pirates look to put pressure on the attacking Herricks, but get it to right around the goal line. Pirates are looking at a good, uh, good advantage here now. Chris Kasu looks to take it out. He throws it in. Right around the box, but ball goes out. Looks to be a corner here. The Mountain Pirates all season long have been putting pressure with their attacking midfielders, most of them coming off of corners. Harris does a good job knocking away out of the box. Metman will stay on offense here as they are pushing their offense towards the uh, Herricks goal line here. Chris Kasu again takes it out. Kasu, Coach Ghost says, is the leader of the defense, plays center back, and is a captain. Very strong, and he tackles well and wins the ball in the air. Has a long, has a very long throw that is like a weapon to the team. It's almost like a corner kick. Bevan scores off of it almost every other game, co says Coach Ghost. Has seven assists already during the season. Believes he's second in the county in assists. Right there is senior Andrew Weiner. Looks to push it, push it back. Right there was junior Gaetano Parisi with the goal as the Pirates strike first against the Highlanders. Bueller with a nice goal there on a right, right boot there. The Mountain Pirates get on the board early. To Coach Ghost, that should, that should seem as an insurance right there as coming into this game is very pivotal right now. 
and all the tensions and anxiety right now as Kyle Beeler with the goal is coming to play early so far. But in the first three minutes, the Pirates score first. That's Connor Bueller's third goal of the season. The Highlanders trying to stop the Pirates' pressure early on in the first half. Highlanders pushing forward here. Highlanders trying to get some offense going here as the Metman Pirates already have uh, one goal here. Kira Gilroy putting on some nice pressure right there on Herrick's attacking midfielder. Corey Lichman in the mix. Slides tackles. Herrick's on target for a shot, but Luis Luparello with the save. Luparello is going to be taken out of his own goal here. That's going to be a kick to the right side. Harry Davila in the mix right there. Trying to get the ball out of Mepham's midfield. Lupera looks to put it back with the boot. Right there was, was Davila, but went out. As you saw on last play, right there was senior Connor Bueller who had the knockback after the Vampires put pressure on the Highlanders goalkeeper. With the rebound off that, the Pirates score first. Nice header there. Harris will be throwing it in now. Right there was Eric Pontian throwing it in. Pontian on the left field side. Good pressure put on by Davila. Some good control and ball skills by Niktas Dimitri. Davila looks to push it downfield. It goes out of bounds. 34-53 left in the first half. The Pirates up 1-0. Herrick's looking to see if they can get some offense going here, try to score. Tie up with Mepham here. Kieran Gilroy, Corey Lichman. Right there putting pressure on the attacking midfield. The Highlanders try to put pressure on the Mepham backfield as they try and score their first goal of this match. Every point so critical because of this pivotal game in which the winner will be the A1, the Nassau A1 conference title champion. That kick was missed high. Highlanders going for a corner right now. Trying to cross it in. Crosses it in. Curves back. Right there is the defense of Mepham. Andrew Wiener with the ball. Outpaces the... the Herrick's defense. But gets slide tackled. Andrew Wiener looking for the call. But didn't get it from the ref. We know not happy with that one, but right there, Kieran Gurry as the ref calls time. Andrew Wiener was, uh, was doing that great, pushing the ball up, trying to get some offense going with the Metman Pirates, but got slide tackled, did not get a foul on that play. As you can see on the replay once again, he was m pushing forward, got tripped up it looks like, and 
refs didn't give him the foul. Tom, that ball control right there by the star senior captain, Coach Ghost says. Andrew Wiener, already committed to Hofstra, has a super is super strong and super fast. The total package and can strike from the distance. He takes out a man one on one as you saw right there on the weep on the replay. Works hard to take the ball back. Has a free roll and can press forward. Can also drop down to play a central midfielder role. And that's certainly worked to the benefit of the Mountain Pirates this season as they're in good ch they're in good uh, play right now for the conference title. Yeah. Agreed, Rocco. Goalie kicking it out, trying to get Herrick some offense going. Goalkeeper David Cabrera. So far early on, loading up one goal. A lot of about them. Chris Kasu looks to uh, throw it in. Throw it inside the box, right there. Was Kieran Gilroy with the header, but right there to goalkeeper David Cabrera with a nice save up top. That was a really good save, Rocco. Helped his team out there. Stopping a goal. Harris trying to get some offense going here, pushing up field. It's a nice passing here by Harris. David Cardoza in the mix right there. Herrick's really trying to put pressure on the Mepham defense right now. Mepham defense being aggressive, trying to get their offense going again. But Gilroy pokes it away, trying to get it out of their zone. And goes out of bounds. Tom... Coach Sean Johnson of the Highlanders says the most uh, talked to us earlier in the week about the most three most important three keys to the game. He says make sure no matter what that they have to focus on playing their style of soccer. Obviously, if it's a competitive match, it can sometimes get physical. At different points of the game, it could potentially get a little sloppy for them. He also says to make sure to move the ball properly and play on track soccer, and the most important one, play with confidence. Yeah, I hear you, Rocco. You want to always play with confidence. You want to always have uh, confidence in your team. You want to be a team. You want to have that teamwork and stuff with your team. So looks like both teams are playing like that now. And uh, let's hope teams keep their confidence going, keep their uh, knowledge up, and hopefully this is a good one, Rocco. But you can't always play with too confidence, Tom, as you always have to find their, uh, you know, a team's happy medium. Yeah. Because that sets the point. Mapa putting on some tough D right there. So far, the Highlanders have been pressured and only has had one shot on goal so far while the, to the Mepham's two. Gilroy, Kasu right there in the mix. Wiener, but knocked out of bounds. 29 minutes left in the first half. The Pirates still up 1-0. Highlanders trying to keep it a competitive game. Both teams know that whoever scores first might ultimately end up winning this game. But there's still a lot of time left. Davila. Wiener. Right there is Harricks. David Cardoza. Boots in him by the box. But goes out. It's going to be a corner kick for Herricks here. As Metton defense tries to stop him. Got some Herricks moving in towards the goal line here. Trying to get something going here. Pirates bench right there as you saw. Blocked, kicked by Davila, putting on some tough D of the back four for Beppham. Davila hustling downfield. But right there is the goalkeeper, David Cabrera.
Cabrera, the junior goalkeeper. Coach Sean Johnson said he's a great, well-trained talent who has been involved with the varsity since last year during his sophomore year. He's a dependable goalie who has great reaction time, diving ability, and strong hands, but his communication is as good as anyone else on the team, which helps him with defensive organization. Herrick's bench right there. Yuval Cordette ready to throw it in for the Highlanders. Last time the Highlanders and Pirates squared away. The match ended up in a tie in a close game of the A1 heavyweights. Highlanders moving it downfield. Highlanders trying to make it close right there, but the back four was right there with the save. Helped out senior goalkeeper Luis Luperello right there. It was Kasu on that save on the boot away, helping his goalie out there. So far this season, that's been the case for the back four. Kasu, always a present defensive factor for them. The Highlanders, about putting intensive pressure right there. Harris turns over the ball. Memphis will take over. There's senior Andrew Wiener. Last game had a hat trick. This season so far has been putting quite a season so far. He's one of three Memphis Pirates that lead in points in Nassau County. On Newsday's points leaders. Ref called a foul. Right there was Davil in the mix. Memphis Pirates trying to get their offense going here again as they're already up one nothing. Cut up will be a free kick right there. Andrew Wiener and Kieran Gilroy. The three captains right there. Wiener, Gilroy, Kasu. Looks like Wiener will be taking this kick here, Rocco. Wiener, ready to kick. Boots it, a little high. The Highlanders will retake the ball. David Cabrera. Gives it off to his Herrick's teammate. Ready to boot it downfield. That's on the right side. Right there was Litzman putting some pressure. Mep defense kicking it out upfield. Andrew Wiener with the takeaway. He looks to use some footwork. Drives it to the, to the center. But Herrick's able to knock away. Mep will be kicking a corner kick here. Harry Davila looks at the cross it in. Metman was looking for a nice header here as Harris are trying to block this. Try to keep this only to a one nothing game here. There's the kick. Davila boots it in. Just crosses over too, a little bit too far. David Cabrera right there was able to stop it. Yeah, that's the second time we've seen uh, David Cabrera with a great save help the Herricks out here, Rocco. Right there, Davila booted a little bit too strong, had a cross in the far post. Weider right there, tried to outmuscle Herrick's defenders right there, but Herrick's able to get a ball out of their box. But the ref calls a foul. 22 minutes left in the first half. Mepham still up. one nothing right there. Number 16. Kenny Gents 
Boots it downfield. Right there's Harry Davila. Devil gets downfield, but the Herrick's defense kicks it out. Upfield. Gilroy right there with the takeaway. Try to boot downfield for Harry Davila, but couldn't take it over right there. Kicking it out of bounds, getting out of play is the Herrick's defense. There you get a shot right behind the goalie. But Chris Kasu ready to throw it in. The Pirates trying to add another goal to their one nothing lead. Chris Kasu boots it in. It's going to be a close play, but the Harris defenders back four was able to knock it out. And David Cabrera will be able to punt it downfield. That was that was a shot right towards the right side of the goal. Number 16. Kenny's ready to boot it downfield for the Herricks. So far, Herricks has been trying to stop the decisive Pirates midfielders, but has not had a successful has not been successful so far. That the kick downfield? The Pirates have more shots on goal than Highlanders have so far. Coach Goch's strategy of putting of putting a putting a loose group up for the midfield, but concentrating the defenders back has worked so far. Avila passes back. A little give and go right now for the Pirates. Blitzman. Right there is Gilroy. Davila. Gives and go. Right there is Zayed. Without Harris now able to take it over right there. Number seven. Dimitri Niktas. Right there, Davila. Good defensive stop. Boots it downfield. Right there was Connor Bueller. Hey, Rocco. Coach uh, Goose has said that Harry Davila is the best hard worker for Mepin Pirates. Overall, he's been really good doing what he needs to do. Chris Kasu looks to cross it in for the corner. Bob mm. again has another chance to add to their lead. He crosses it in. Right there is Gilroy with the opportunity, but the Herricks back for once again stops it. Another close play for the Highlanders, but the back four is able to get it done. David Cabrera with another boot downfield. So far, Coach Ghost has to be happy with the Mepin Pirates' play so far. They have an early 1 0 lead with 8 14, 18 41 left to go in the first half. Say, I'd go wish, ready to throw in. Here in Gilroy. Part of that three Mepin Pirates who are leaders in the points in Nassau County on Newsday. Chris Kasu. Ross is in right at the box. Kenny Gish right there to stop once again. And the back four gets it done. Herrick's still looking for another opportunity to get a shot on goal. Down one nothing early. Herrick's get a ball in the midfield. 
Met them working their offense here. Pushing the ball downfield. There's a sh there's a shot cross. Saved by Cabrera. Another shot on goal for the Mountain Pirates. But that back four and David Cabrera have been able to stop so far mostly that attacking midfield for the Mountain Pirates. Kieran Gilroy, Andrew Wiener trying to do some footwork. Connor Bueller on the left hand side of the field. Davila right there. Gilwish and Davila try to put pressure right there on Harris. Eric's are going to throw in here and try to get their offense moving here with 16.32 left in the first. Kick downfield to Metten. And Metten has their offense once again shot on goal saved by Cabrera. Connor Bueller. And the Pirates again get another opportunity for a shot on goal, but again come up short. In about the last five minutes, Bueller has two shot on goals and both saved by Cabrera. Kicked out by the Herricks. Met will get the ball here. Looks like Kasu's going to throw it in here. Pirates have to throw it in right there. Kieran Gurroy crosses it downfield. Goes out of play. Just over the top of Connor Bueller. Coming into this game, Harris was on a two game win streak and were looking to keep their momentum heading into today's battle of the heavyweights. Coach Ghost again going Kasu for that long throw in. Another shot on goal, but deflected away by the back four for Herricks. Herricks' back four has been a really big factor in this game so far, Rocco. Eric Pontian throwing it in. Right there is Yuval Cordiat. Yuval on the right hand side. Pass to Jose Silva. Silva crosses in, but was out of play. 13 20 left in the first half. There's Luis Luparello booting it downfield. Right there was Zawed. Looks like a free kick coming up. Hey Rocco, uh, Coach Johnson said that senior striker Jose Silva, the most experienced player externally from school ball, a product of hard work since a young uh, young youth, plays at the highest level for club and is quality that, if he realized, can even be more selfish and turn up his stats. Yet prefers to be classy player. He is more uh, make the proper decisions on the ball, which is very admirable. David Cardoso with a bullet, but wide left on the shot on goal for the free kick. Potentially could have been dangerous to the Pirates. 
they let up if they let up a goal right there, would be close to the half with a one one game. Of course Costley looks to boot it downfield. Right there was Gilroy. Harris looking to contain the ball right now. Trying to score on this drive. Got a Bueller able to knock it out right there. Good defense there by Mitten Pirates. Harris putting pressure under that back, back four. Shot wide left. As you saw, Mepham's best defender there. Uh, Kasu there, trying to help out the defense of Mepham. Kasu again ready to kick downfield. Boots it. Header in the middle. Again right there, another header win for Kieran Gilroy. Borello downfield. Right there, Bueller trying to fight it off from Herricks. On the left field side, Mepham with the ball. Guy Town Parisi trying to fight hard right there. Connor Bueller trying to fight for it. Right there, Zayed. But that ball goes out of play. We're just under the 10 minute mark in the first half. Met him still up on nothing. Connor Bueller right there with the header. Karen Dory tried to break away right there, but Herricks did not allow it. Left field side, but tries to keep it in. There's a stoppage. Coach Sean Johnson at the half might be talking to the players about continuing their defensive strategy so far that's been working out even though they have left only one goal. Trying to inspire his Highlanders. going to be out on Mepham. Herricks with a throw in here. Herricks looking to get the ball downfield. Kyle Beale trying to fight for it right there. Couldn't get the breakaway. Too much friction right there as Harris gets called for the penalty. Looks like Kasu is going to go on the kick in. The ability of Kasu's long drives allows the midfielders to attack the box more often than not. Kasu boots it in. A perfect line drive right there, but. Here in Gilroy again in the mix, but couldn't get the fall. Herrick staves off another threatening. Well, oh, Rocco, that's the Herrick's back four again in their goalie. Very a big factor of this game so far. 
stopping Metam offense. Only allowed one goal so far in this game. Harry Davila going to cross it in. Right there in the corner. Davila with the cross. But right there was goalkeeper David Cabrera with the stop. Throws it downfield. Eric's trying to push it downfield. Kira Gilroy with the takeaway. Coach Goss says that Gilroy uh, is a team leader and has the best soccer IQ on this Metam Pirates team. Really seemed like it all throughout this game so far. He's been in the mix. There was Mubum. Miktas Dimitri. Kieran Gilroy with the hustle just couldn't get it in. Herrick's throwing it in. There's Dimitri Niktas. Zion Gaywish, the senior, throws it in. Goes up to Andrew Weiner. Andrew Weiner able to keep it in right there. Harry Davila, it's Kieran Gilroy. Gilroy stop with it. Zion Gaywish able to keep it in once more. Niktas Dimitri on the left field side tries to push it down. Eric's threatening here. Has Niktas. Stays in bounds, but gets out there. Last second out of bounds there from Highlanders. Dimitri unable to keep it, keep his footwork together right there. Gave up a chance for a threat, for a threat on goal in the box right there for Herricks. Here goes Casa with his big boot here. Right there, Harris able to. Right there, but Andrew Weiner tries to keep it in. Weiner with a th one on four right now. Pushing forward. Gets tripped up. Weiner had some great footwork right there, but wanted the call on that trip right there by a slide tackle by the back four of Harris. Nice kick forward, but that will be out of bounds. If it wasn't for that Harris slide kick right there. Andrew Weiner would have had a goal right there. Had a wide open net. Would have been a one on one with Cabrera. It's been a tight game so far here, Rocco. Only one nothing Pirates. Both defense holding up as best as they could. Like we mentioned in uh, earlier, this game's going for the conference A1 conference here, so. So I'll come into this game, we knew it was going to be competitive. The battle of the heavyweights so far. As you see on that last play right there, that slide tackle, the lethal slide tackle by the Harrick's back four, was able to trip up Andrew Weiner and came up short on trying to score that trying to score on that opportunity right there. Some great defense right there. Now we're down to three minutes left to play in the first half. Pirates one, Highlander zero. Ball's going to be staying in the middle here as both teams try to find a uh, way to get to the goal line here. That's going to be out of bounds, and the uh, Highlanders are going to get a throw in here. Fourteen seniors of the Mepham Pirates lineup, all looking to end their... Their soccer career here at Mepham Pirates, at Mepham 
high school with a conference title. Still a lot of game left, but on the doorstep is the Herrick Highlanders. Coach Go says the game may not be easy, but he's confident enough in his players for them to find a way to stop that Herrick's midfield add to their lead. The boot upfield towards the air. Herrick's offense booted away by Metton defense. It's going to be out in Metton. Parisi right there tried to stop it. Highlanders with the boot down field. It's going to be back four for Metton down there. Highlanders are on their uh, offensive territory here with 35 seconds left to go in the first half. Let's see if they can get something here with 30 seconds to go now. Right there was Gilroy trying to break away with the steal. Boots it in. Off the crossbar. Eric Highlanders try to capitalize on that opportunity on the sideline, but the kick just missed the goal by about a couple inches as it hit the crossbar. Real good kick there by the Highlanders. Try to get something going there. Kirigori in the mix right there, trying to put pressure right there. Davila pushes it downfield. Andrew Weider attempting. Cabrera with the save. Our mistake right there was a senior Matthew Bauer. Take a look at that last play right there. Herricks tried to capitalize on that free kick. However, that kick went and hit the crossbar, but it was the of the crossbar. As we come close to the ha to the ha to the end of the first half, the Memphis Pirates are up one nothing and we'll be right back. We're now getting back from the first half where the Memphis Pirates leading one nothing. Pirates' own goal, uh, first goal was scored by senior Connor Bueller, his third of the season. But since then, the Mer uh, the Herricks back four has been doing a good job of sustaining that deficit just to only one goal. The Pir Pirates look to score more this half so they can build the lead and hold Herricks. What Coach Coast, uh, told us from uh, Connor Bueller is that he is very fast and very technically gifted, can take guys one-on-one, -on -one, strikes the ball very well, third year on varsity striking, st starting striker for uh, Metman Pirates. As we see, Herricks are going to be kicking the ball out. And we're ready for the second half. Herricks has the ball on the right field side. Nice move, pushing it downfield for the Herricks. As we discussed earlier, the this is a pivotal game, seeing this is the last conference game these two teams will be playing. Where the winner will be will claim the Daso A1 conference title, while the loser will remain in second will go to second place. 
heading coming up to his to the Nassau County playoffs. Right there, Herricks trying to move it downfield, but Corey Lichten putting on some pressure. Senior Matt Bauer also trying to put on some pressure. I would say Brian Willis. Right there, Andrew Weiner shut out from attacking the ball right there. Harry Davila. Connor Bueller on the right field side. Gives and go right there. It was a beautifully played ball on the right field side, but Harris back four again with the stop. Corey Lichtman moving downfield. Right there, Andrew Weiner. Stop on his feet, trying to score. He's muscling his way through. Slide tackle by Harris defense. Play some tough D right there on Andrew Weiner. Right there, Kieran Gilroy. There's those back four again for Herricks. Harry Davila. Lost it in. But Cabrera right there with the save. Hey Rocco, uh, Cabrera is a junior goalkeeper, a great well-trained talent who has been involved with varsity since last year. A depend dependable goalie who has been great reaction time, diving uh, ability and strong hands, but his communication is, is as good as anyone else on the team, which helps his defensive organization. He A lot, a lot of the times he talks to his uh, offense and defense, telling them locations and stuff. That's why he's a really good goalie for this Herrick Highlanders team. Some good insight there, Tom, by uh, Coach Sean Johnson. Yeah. Right there, Brian Willis with the header as it goes out of play. 36 32 left here in the second half. As you take a look at the replay, Andrew Weiner was slide tackled by that, again by the Harris back four with the stop. Yeah, like I mentioned, Cabrera in their back four has been really a big factor into this game so far going into the second half here with 36.08 left. All right there, Corey Lushman trying to put on some pressure. But Chris Casu and Luparello right there. Luparello lost it downfield. Andrew Weiner tried to do a give and go to Parisi, but unable to. Jose Silva, four right there. Right there, Zara Gaywish, a senior. As we were trying to fight for the ball, we got taken away by Herricks. Nice kick up field by Mepham. Right there, Pirate head coach. Ghost right there. Is that Ghost? Chris Cosby ready to throw it in. Right near the box. Headed the way by the back four of Herricks. As we are trying to keep it alive. Trying to use his controlled footwork right there. Gives it off to the backfield of Brian Willis.
Right there, Gaetano Parisi gets knocked down by the Herricks defender. Been a tough physical game for both teams so far. Connor Bueller. Put some tough D right there. Bump it in. Both teams trying to get something here. As the Metons are as the Metton Pirates are still up on nothing. Thirty three eleven left in the second half. Metton still up one nothing. The Highlanders trying to use every opportunity they could have right now to try and even up this game. Corey Lickman trying to put on the pressure right there. Chris Casu. Corey Lickman. Kieran Gilroy. Putting the pressure on the Harris midfielders. Been a tightly contested match so far. Eric's trying to see if they can get something started here. Put some points on the board. Metman defense kicks it out. As Harris get back the ball. Harris putting it right near the box. Big left foot kicks it out. Every judge. Right there, Kieran Gilroy passes it to Andrew Wiener using his, his skilled footwork. Passes up forward. Has... Hey Rocco, that's another thing that uh, Coach Go said that uh, Andrew Wiener and his footwork and his uh, fast mobility moving up the field has been a, also a big factor of him scoring as well as his hat trick last game and stuff like that. Um, he's been a big uh, factor to this team as well, scoring and offensively. Chris Kasu again for the long throw in, has it towards the box. Right there, Andrew Wiener. Because with Corey Lichman, we're trying to pass it up to the midfield, but couldn't get it done. Mepham still has possession. Take a look at that last play. Guy Tano Parisi pushed to the ground by the Herricks back four. Both defenses have been playing tightly contested defense all day long, while Highlanders have given up one goal to them. There's a the ball that rolls out of bounds. It's going to be the Pirates on the throw in. Just about 29 minutes left in the second half. It's so once again going to be a throw in for Mepham. The 
Pyrex back for. Once again, able to keep that ball out of the, their own box. Andrew Wiener, Kieran Gilroy, looking to add to the Pirates' lead. Now getting ready for the free kick. Andrew Wiener goes in. The kick got bobbled, but right there was Senior. Connor Bueller with another goal, his second goal of the game. Connor Bueller, his fourth goal of the season for the Pirates, comes up big when it matters most once again in this match. Well, as uh, Coach Go said, Rocco, he strikes that ball very well, and he could take guys one-on-one. -on -one. He had uh, that goalie, just put it to the right side of the goal there as uh, Wiener made a nice kick for that free kick. Just tap that right in on the right side. Goalie didn't even know. Metman strikes again. 2 nothing, Pirates. But right there, soft sophomore Tyler Costin forgot. Connor Bueller was right behind him. Let him go right through, and he was able to be the beneficiary off of off of the deflection off of uh, Cabrera right there. The Pirates' second goal of the day. This has to be great news right now, Tom, for uh, Coach... Zach Ghost really needs some insurance right now to make sure the Pirates lock in this win. Yeah, absolutely. Because this is for the conference title, Rocco. So, this is a big game right here. Harry Davila. The Pirates today have been making the most of their opportunities so far. Herricks, not so much. As you see also, Rocco, Herrick's bench has a lot, much more people than the uh, Pirates bench. I'd say they have a little bit more depth than... Uh, yeah. Um, a little more depth than the Pirates agreed, yeah. Right there, Kieran Gilroy. Pirates still putting on pressure on that back four of Herrick's. Pirates putting on pressure once again. Harry Davila. Fighting for the ball. Gives a go right there on the right hand side to Connor Bueller, the senior. Eric Pontian throwing it in. Ponyman. Right there, Andrew Wiener. Gives out to Harry Davila. Harry Davila able to go up forward. Right there, Kieran Gilroy. Able to score once more. The Pirates, once again, strike in the second half. They lead 3-0. Two quick goals coming out for Pirates as they take two goals away. Put put three on the board now for Pirates. Kieran Gilroy. Hey Rocco, this is uh something another from Coach Ghost. Kieran is a starting center mid midfielder for us. He is very technically gifted. He's strong. He wins tackles. He's our playmaker. His older sister played uh, at Tennessee and she got women's national team third year on varsity. Right there on that replay. Could see Kieran Gilroy putting that shot on goal, but it's but got the assist to end to end 
Kira Gilroy with that goal. The Highlanders have come up empty on all of, on all of their shots on goal so far. The Highlanders trying to close out the Mepham Pirates at home. Their chances so far are growing farther and farther so far. Mepham trying to contain the Highlanders. 24 minutes left in the second half. Zayed Gawish on the right hand side. Looking to put it in. With Mepham coming up big with three, with two big goals in the second half. Coach Zach goes trying to play conservative so far. Trying to hold the lead. As he's been giving a comfortable lead so far to go to, to deal with. Right there, Chris Kasu. Andrew Weiner. Hey Rocco, this is something about uh, Chris Kasu. He's the leader of the defense, plays center back. He's a captain, is very strong. He tackles well and wins the ball in the air. Has a very long throw that is like a weapon to the team. It's almost like a corner kick. Metham scores off at almost every other game, says Coach Goose. He has seven assists, believes the second in the county in assist. He's been a big contributor to this team so far, would you say, Tom? Yeah. His headers and his ball, uh, him just playing defense, like it says, he's one of the captains, one of the defense, uh, best defensive guys on Memphis Pirates defense here. It's really helped them out here. Right there was Guy Tana Parisi. Twenty-two minutes left in the second half. Kick up field from Mepham. It's gonna be a one-on-one. -on -one. Saved by the two. Highlanders defensive players and David Cabrera, one one uh, one guy who's a big factor in this game, really helped them throughout the first half. Pirates look to go off a quarter kick with Corey Lickman trying to cross it in. By mistake, they now want Connor Bueller taking the corner kick, replacing Corey Lickman. Bueller goes in by the box to the far to the far post. Bueller's kick was just a little bit wide there. On that replay, you see uh, how Wiener had him one on one. Two defenders step in here and shot blocked by uh, David Cabrera. That's a good job by our replay team right there to cover that one on one.
20 minutes left in the second half so far. Pirates up 3 nothing. So, so far this half, it's been all Pirates, as they put most of the pressure on that Harris back four. Map, I'm trying to clinch the Nassau A1 title over Herricks at home. Right there, Andrew Wiener. Wiener just a bit high on that kick. High and wide to the left side. Wiener is a guy on this team that is uh he's a free roll, he can drop anywhere really. He uh he can drop down to even play center midfield role with his talent on this team. Right there was Andrew was uh Christian Mercia now coming onto the game, the junior. Kieran Gilroy. There's Gregory Paul coming into the game as well. Greg Paul and Christian Mercia both being a big factor for this team so far off the bench. Gregory Paul, Rocco, his first uh, his first position is center back. He is also very tall. Um, Greg is like our fifth defender the other day against MacArthur. Uh, when they were winning, he brought we brought Greg on to make sure we're winning, but we're not turning the ball over. Greg will definitely be in the game. He'll be the first defender to come on. That's what Coach uh, Gross said. Right there, Herrick's trying to... Herrick's trying to put the pressure on Meltham now. They're trying to get on the board in the second half with only 17 minutes left to go. Senior Willis Bryan, Brian Willis, now gives up to Chris Casso on the left side, trying to throw it in. As you see, a couple of reserves coming into the game here with 16.54 to play. Um, Pirates have the lead 3-0. A couple of his bench guys coming into the game here now. Those couple of reserves are juniors for Mitten. Tom, if uh, time starts to wind down to the 10-minute mark and the score remains as is, I think it's safe to say that the Highlanders will have a difficult time of coming back. Yeah, I agree, Rocco. Highlanders, uh, they really had some stuff. They, their, their defense was really uh, holding it for the first half besides that one goal let up by the Pirates. But... Uh, Mepin Pirates have their offense here. They're putting pressure on the Highlanders' defense, as you can see right here. A couple trip up right there, actually. But, uh, yeah, I agree with you, Rocco. It's safe to say that it's going to be a hard time coming back as the Highlanders uh, make their way back if they do. Corey, like, been putting the pressure on the Herrick's midfielders right there. Coming back into the game. Davila looks to be coming back to him as well as David Cardoza. Dimitri Nikdas right there.
Coach Ghost says about uh, Harry Davila. He's a starter center midfielder. He's an above the box player. He's a workhouse. Um, he is a workhouse, and he's very good at tackling and passes the ball. He is uh, another very intelligent player. He takes the team corner kicks and is second year on varsity playing for Metman Pirates. Score means 3 nothing. As they both sub in now. Connor Bueller back into the game. The senior has two goals so far in this game. As he saw there on the replay, it was a nice trip up there from both players. Right there, Connor Bueller. Senior Chris Cass, who has the most assists on the on the Pirates team so far this season. Yeah, that's correct, Rocco. He has seven assists. He is second in the county in assist as well. Both teams before coming into this game, the, their both the last games, they both recorded shutouts. Mapum recorded a shutout over New High Park with a 4 nothing victory, as well as Herricks recorded a shutout against Great Neck South with a 7 nothing victory. Their goalie, Louis Luparello, hasn't really got that much action as the Mepham defense has been playing very good defense here in the second half. And the offense for Mepham has been putting a lot of pressure on this Herricks defense. 12.58 left in the second half. Right there, the back four. Putting some harsh defense. I take a look at the crowd. You know, a bunch of people show, uh, showing up, showing out for their support for the Pirates. As today's senior day. And that was also the, a pivotal match. For yeah. The, for whoever wins this game claims the Nassau A1 title. Mapham Pirates look at the clutch at home against their home crowd. Cabrera boots it downfield. Right there with Lickman. Looks like again on the tough t slide tackle, but gets called for the penalty. Right there, he thought he was just playing some good defense. Coach Sean Johnson, not really happy with his high limits play so far in this second half. Giving up two goals early on in this half. Yeah, Rocco, those goals were uh, just about not even five minutes away from each other, too. Right there, as you see on the last play, Corey Lichtman thought he was playing some good defense, but the ref called him for a foul on that slide tackle. Did not like the call whatsoever. Right there, Andrew Wiener. Only up field on left field side. Dumps it off to Connor Bueller. Looks at like Crossing but gets double teamed. Harris, where Kenny Jench knocks it, pushes it out of bounds. Jench is their co captain. Uh, his height has proven difficult uh, on set pieces. Three goals most consecutively improved from last year. Jench really does show uh, 
show a lot of teams with his height. Could header the ball great too. We are just about under the 10 minute mark here at the my school. Right there, Connor Bueller hustled on that play, gets knocked down. Right there, Herricks trying for a late comeback push. Cabrera boots it downfield. There's Cabrera coming out on that save. Tom right now with a little bit left of nine minutes left in the second half. It's a time of any right now for the Highlanders to start for a comeback push right now. Yeah, absolutely. Because we talked what, what we talked about earlier. Uh... Right oh! there, a goal. A nice takeaway by the senior with the left boot to the top left bin. Corey Lichtman with the goal. He extends the Memphis Pirates lead to 4-0 with 8.57 left in the second half. The senior did a great job keeping his balance, had his foot right there, and was able to get able to direct it to the to the top left bin. Yeah. This is uh, a couple things that Let's take a look at the last play. Memphis able to come back. Corey Lichtman off the turnover from that Herrick's back four was able to score on that top left bin. Great concentration by Corey Lichtman right there. The Pirates up 4 nothing. Some uh, some things that Coach Go said about Corey is he's starting center midfielder for us. Corey's also very tall. He's over six feet tall. Uh, he wins the ball in the air. He's left footed. He can kick a uh, great 40 yard ball right on the dot. He'll go and do his kicks before he comes to practice. Uh, we do get a little worried sometimes when he comes to soccer warm up and he starts kicking the crap out of the ball. He's a good kid. He's quiet, but a really nice ki kid. He's a third year on varsity. Now Mepham leads 4 nothing. 8.15 left to play. With eight minutes, um, just under eight minutes left in the second half, Mepham up four nothing, looking to close out the Nassau A1 title here at Mepham High School. Harris trying to push down on the left field side. We get pushed out. Highland is having a difficult time trying to get more shots on goal the second half. Right there, Cabrera. Boots it downfield on the left field side, right there. Good defense there by Mitten. Right there was Brian Willis before. Here, Gilroy with the takeaway. Trying to break away. Looks like an array of substitutes from the Memphis Bench looking to come in. There's senior captain, Chris Kasu, smiling as. As the Memphis Pirates have had a good day so far, they're up 4 nothing. That's what you really like to see the players having fun with it. Yeah, absolutely, Rocco. Especially in this game so far, Tom. It's a, it's essentially a pivotal game because it's you know it's a, it, 
whoever wins claims the Nassau one title. Yeah. And we're now with 550 left. Uh, it's going to be really, really hard for Highlanders to really come back in this game. As long as Metman can scare, scare the ball, their defense can keep up the game they've been playing. I think Metman might have it, but... Now, Tom, necessarily, winning the conference doesn't mean that you get a special spot in the playoffs. It really is just a huge feat and an accolade during the season for a team. Yeah. It's really, it's really showed how much they played and how much they put into this. Both the Highlanders and the Pirates will be in the playoffs coming up this these next three weeks. Yeah. So who knows? They might verse each other again and see if Highlanders could get a rematch at it. Or Mepin could get a rematch. Tom, you know the Highlanders will be looking for... Looking for the win if they do face each other off in the Nassau County playoffs. Highlander's effort in this game has been really good. Trying to keep the Metm uh, Metm offense out. Uh, their defense has been really good. Their back four, like Rocco mentioned, their back four has been really good. Their offense pushing forward. Uh, they have Dimitri Niktas. He's a really good player. Uh, for their offense, um, and uh, Herricks are on a two-game win streak and look up to keep their momentum heading into the today's battle. Um, they tried to keep up the momentum. They did it most of the time on their defense. Uh, they did let up a couple goals go by them, but back four has been really good today. And the fastest player on the Highlanders. He's actually a sophomore, Josh Koopahug. He's probably faster than anyone on Metm and the Highlanders. Looks like Brian Willis on the right side. Looking to cross it in. Back for Kyle Bueller tries to slice it away. Almost that right top in. Could have been a hat trick for Kyle Bueller right there. Just shy of it. But the ball elevated a little bit and went a little bit up. Missed it by nearly a couple inches. Yeah, it was just high of the net there. As you take a look at his last play, that cross header in, Connie Bueller slices that one just high of that right top bin for could have been his hat trick of the day. Made could have made the Pirates lead to five nothing. Right there, Kieran Gerroy pass it to the right hand. Harry Davil playing tight defense. Two thirty seven left in the second half and Mepham up four nothing. Right there, Corey Lichtman. Carter Bueller trying to retain pedestrian for the Mountain Pirates. Harris trying to get it off even a goal here. This Pirates defense has been very good. Big factor in this game here. Highlanders doing what they can do here. Pushing the ball forward here. Greg Paul right there putting up some good defense. Highlanders effort in this game has been tremendously good. Not giving up one bit. Trying to do what they need to do. Uh, trying to get the ball downfield. The Metm's defense is very good, led by Chris Casso. As you just saw there, Tom, right there, the seniors, captains, Casso and Andrew Wiener, sitting on the bench reminiscing of this 4 nothing lead so far and what it could mean in the coming minutes for the Metm Pirates. Yeah. We have broke... 
the one minute mark here in the second half. One minute to go. Map of Pirates. Getting hyped right now, so is Coach Zach Gross. There's, there's senior Louis Luparello and what it means so much to these seniors right now. Their final year of Mepham Mep Soccer so far, ending in a conference title. And that's the final here from Mepham High School. The Pirates defeat the Highlanders 4 nothing. Mathematically clinches them the top spot in Co Nassau County Conference A1. Take a look at the replay. The horn sounded. Louis Luparello hyped that his team will be will be the leader in Nassau A1. What a huge feat so far for the Pirates as they capture the Nassau A1 title. The Pirates winning for nothing.